Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review, and this is Distancia by the French Twins. Before we do this, please like and subscribe and go and have a look at onlinemagic.co once this is finished. I would like you to do that because it's a very, very wonderful thing. If you want to learn magic from me, have a look at onlinemagic.co. It's a bargain. That's what it is. So, Distancy by the French Twins, saw this at the session, uh, loved it. It's, it's a great thing. It's, uh, and I'm sure I can say this, it's like a thread trick without the thread. That's what it is. Um, but if you're not a magician, you won't know what I mean. And if you are, you will, and it's okay. I've very nicely presented this. It's a Theory 11 trick. And what happens is somebody has a coin in their hand. You put it in their hand. So you might do a coin routine and give them one of your coins. You put it in their hand and, uh, and the coin kind of raises up, kind of doesn't float, but one side of it raises up and it looks like it's kind of moving. And you're saying to them, right, raise your hand. You're going to see that you're going to control the coin and the coin moves on their hand under a glass. It's one of those things that is what it is. The coin's moving, it's on hand. You don't have to do loads of it. And I think less is more with these sort of tricks as well. I do think, you know, even when you use thread, you know, a floating bill, yeah, I can float a bill and I can walk away from it and it can dangle around there for half an hour. No, move it, levitate it, get it back down, give it back, you know, make it small. And I think this is one of them, those tricks. It's, it, it's really, good. I've seen it live, as I said on the session, it looks great. And when it's in someone else's hand, they know it can't be certain things. Because people do, the, the only place they can go sometimes if something's floating, they know things don't float, so what else holds things up? A bit of thread. So they know it's not that because it's here, and I think it's, it's really, really cool. And you can see the reaction on the video, I genuinely think it's a real one, because I've seen the reactions in real life as well. Even magicians are going, well, this is great. So magic in other people's hands, we love it, don't we? It's easy. There is an issue with it in a minute. <laughs> Not for everybody, but for people like me, if you've got a brain like mine, which we will talk about. It's easy. There's not really, you're going to have to practice and get things, just get used to things, I think, without giving the game away. But it's, there's no danger in it. Well, that, let's talk about danger in a minute as well. But there's no danger in it the same way there is with the other thing that we use and we worry about because nothing's going to break. It is solid. It's, it's going to be okay. Now, there's other things you can do with this. I still think the flowing, I love the coin move, I love animations like that, so I think that's great. But you can do some really cool things. It comes with a thing where you can put the gimmick instead of where it's going to be, which is, I won't go into it, but you can put it on your leg and it doesn't usually go on your leg. Um, you can do things like moving things across the table, vanishes, reproduction. You can even do things with a billet. You can do a, like a billet switch thing, you can do a coin switch. You can do a brilliant thing where a coin, you make a coin vanish and it, you see it kind of plop into the glass, but it doesn't come from anywhere. It just goes bloop like that, and it's in the glass. Take it out of the glass that, that has got uh, liquid in it. I've, and that could be a wonderful end to a sort of coin and glass routine when it, and it doesn't come into this glass and ends up in the glass over there that's got liquid on it. I think there's, there's a lot to be done with this. I think it's really, really cool. Playing with it is an absolute joy, but I haven't been able to go out and perform with it yet. And that is because it's very, very hot. And what you do need to be able to do the, the main routine on this is you need sleeves. I'm not saying that isn't how you, you think, oh, it's, it's not that sleeve thing, but you, you're gonna need sleeves because the gimmick is quite big, it's quite chunky, and it reminded me of Rocco, if you watch his sleeving DVD, and this isn't sleeving, but if you watch that, he uses a thing, and it's a bit like that, but used for a kind of different reason. So, it, the fact it's bulky is fine if you've got a suit on and you've got stuff on, but you can't walk around like I am now, and I'm not going to walk around in any other manner because, or, or situational state, because of how hot it is at the moment. So it's it's kind of out for me going out to cafes and doing it, and, and actually would look suspect if I walked in with a jumper on or a suit. Um, now, so where where would I use it? I would use it performing. And I would use it for, I, well, I am going to use it performing, but I have got to be very, very careful with this. Now, when you start watching the download, the first thing they say, without giving it away, but you're going to know, is don't get it near anything electric. 
don't get it near the, within two feet of computers and all this sort of thing. And then alarmingly, you know, if you know anybody with a pacemaker, don't get it anywhere. <laughs> so you want to be watching that download very quickly. There should be a big thing on their gun. Watch the download before you even buy it, which you can't do, of course. So that's, that's a big thing. And I'm sure there might be something on the website. Now with that, of course, there are dangers in this, which is fine if you know what you're doing. They say you can't, they, no, kids can't buy this. As they say on the download, and don't you know, don't tell me if you've just bought it and you're 12. But you know it's an expensive bit of kit, and justifiably so. But you are going to want to be very careful. Now I tried to make this the Rocco thing up once. <laughs> it was very funny because I just haven't got an organised brain when I'm doing close-up magic. I'm not one of those people that goes up to a table and goes, "I'm going to say this," and then I'm going to then I'm going to go into this trick. Really, I just kind of do it and chat and see what happens. It's always been the way, and through that, I have got scripting now, but I've got scripting through improvisation. So with things when I've got to be too careful, it doesn't mean I don't do them. It means I have to really, really, really spend time thinking about this. And I remember when I had the Rocco thing, things were sort of, you know. I was walking around with forks on me and stuff like that because I was, I was brushing against people or brushing against the table. Because, Think! And it, so you, you've got to be very careful with that. And obviously people's watches, if they've got beautiful watches, you've got, to be, you've got to be super, super careful. And so that's why for me, even though I would take it out to a gig, if it's a gig where I've got to do table, 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 table I'd probably leave it. I don't, I don't want to risk that. I would rather do it when I'm doing a few things, when it's not, it's not too crowded. I'd definitely do it in parlour. Definitely do it on a really nice thing on stage with a spotlight on someone holding the glass and making that thing move because, you know, these things can play for hundreds of people if you've got it lit properly and you're getting that response and maybe you've got cameras. I think it's great for that and it's very versatile. My feeling is if you got this, you'd have great fun um, with it, but you just have to be careful. It does come with extra stuff for the different routines you do on it. I would say they're all easy. They take rehearsal and they're very, very strong. I think this is a great bit of kit, but in transporting it, anything like that, you've just got to be super, super careful. They've said the thing that this uses, which you're going to recognise, and it's like, again, it's not a completely new thing. There's ways of people using this for years, so you know that there are ways of using it completely practically with that thought and with that, that um, you know, just pocket management and stuff like that. But th the things they've got in this that are those, you can't just go out and buy. You couldn't really make this up very well, they said. It's kind of uses a thing that's more powerful than that you can get in shops. This is what they say, don't quote me. Um, but yeah, it's cool. Uh, so, so just be aware of that. So that's Distancia by F the French Twins. I'm really glad I got it. I'm not gonna get rid of that and I'm gonna really play with it and see if I can just make it work. Uh, any other questions? do let me know. And by the way, the, 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 you get everything you need to perform this. You can't just go out and use a normal coin. I'm, I'm sure that's fine to say as well. Um, so everything's been kind of sourced and made and designed for this trick. Again, according to them, and I tend to believe them. Thanks very much. Take care. If you've got any questions, I've bound to have missed some important stuff out. Do look in the uh, comment on the, below the video and I will come to that question on the comments on comment shows on Thursdays at five o'clock. Most Thursdays, as I said in the other videos at the moment, it's August. Uh, I cannot get into the office sometimes because of the kids, they're off school and because also of the heat, it's, it's too hot in here for me to be here all day. So uh, the, the live sessions are kind of a little bit more intermittent at the moment, but come September, I'll tell you, every, every Thursday, five o'clock and press the notification icon so you get notified of such things. Uh, and do please, check out the Instagram page. I've been doing lots more stories and Instagram lives and just chatting when I'm sort of practicing and stuff like that. So go to at Real Magic Review uh, Instagram page and uh, Instagram account and do that. Follow me on there and go and check out onlinemagic.co and like and subscribe. That's the end of it. Take care. Have a great one. See you later. Bye.